this week on Canada in the Rough. We're on an exciting Newfoundland moose hunt. Keith Beasley will be hunting with Taylor's Brook Outfitting and has a true East Coast dream adventure full of stunning scenics and amazing animal encounters. This week on Canada in the Rough. Well folks, we're in one of my favorite places on earth and definitely one of my favorite places to go moose hunting. We're in Newfoundland and we have a beautiful week ahead according to the weather, but you never know here on this island. But the weatherman says it should be good and I know mid-October, it's after the rut per se, but I know a lot of those big bulls are looking for cows that are still wanting to talk. So we're hoping to get out there. These guys have told us some great stories, Graydon and his crew, about the type of places we're gonna go and the amazing moose population. So we're excited to get out there, see if we can't find some big old moose that wanna talk and have a great week of moose hunting. So stay tuned, I think it's gonna be a fun week ahead. Taylor's Brook Outfitting is located 60 kilometers east of Deer Lake. Uh, we offer moose, uh, woodland caribou, and black bear for, for hunting, and we're uh, driving a fitting camp. We have a newly renovated camp. Uh, you usually take anywhere from four to six clients a week. We got uh, satellite TV. We got all home cooked meals and uh, lots of desserts, and you won't go hungry. Moose hunting uh, here in Taylor's Brooks is probably uh, better than most, I guess. Uh, we got a lot of bogs, we can do a lot of glassing. We got some high advantage points where we can get up and, uh, and glass as well or we can set up a call and uh, see if we can't get a few animals to come in. What makes this area so unique for hunting is uh, we hunt the base of the Long Range Mountains. We've got a uh, national park which borders our area, which is Area 4. Area 4 is probably one of the biggest hunting zones for Newfoundland. And uh, we've also got a provincial park which is in our hunting zones, and that just makes for great moose hunting. People should probably come to Newfoundland to hunt uh, if anybody enjoys the outdoors and likes to explore, I mean, hunting is a great part of it. I mean, we've got excellent scenery, we've got great people, great food, and a hospitality you won't find anywhere else. Buddy, what do you uh, what do you think? It's windy. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit windy. We've traveled back in here what five miles now? Yes, pretty much. And how far of a walk? We got about a half kilometer walk, and uh, we're going to go into a bog where there's a nice bit of moose on around. And we're going to do some calling, and hopefully we'll get one out. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. You ready? I'm always ready. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Basla, nice bull walking there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, geez, Larry. Yeah, you got some. Looks uh, like a good one. You got a rack on. Would he be 40 inches, maybe? Close to it. Still a solid mile away, the bull seemed to be coming to the call. As soon as he entered the woods, Keith took advantage of the opportunity to move and set up for a better shot into the next bog, where they hoped the bull would reappear. Oh, moose.
That's not the one we're looking for. It's a younger one. Nice problem to have. A couple of moves coming into the call. Not the one we're looking for. We're going to wait for this bigger one, but beautiful young moose. Though the young bull was entertaining to watch, the older bull they had seen earlier, unfortunately, never showed himself again. Still, spending the rest of the morning in this piece of paradise was a reward in itself. After a great morning, the guys decided to leave the lookout and venture to other locations. fighting on the left, two young bulls floating on the right, and a big giant one in the middle of them. Look at that. Look at the fronts and the bezes on these little giants. Some of these caribou have like 30 points. Amazing caribou, amazing. Huge bulls. This is amazing. Guys, is this what you get to do every day? Is this what you get to do every day? Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That night, the guys were treated to a well-earned home-cooked meal from the camp cook and Larry's wife, Penny. Hunting coastal Newfoundland offers the rare and special opportunity to hunt in view of the Atlantic Ocean. Not only is this breathtaking to experience firsthand, but Keith was also lucky enough to experience even more of the beauty that the Newfoundland coast has to offer, as Larry and Penny took him to see a number of beautiful small coastal towns during his visit. There they showed him the best shores to find sea glass, also known as mermaid tears. And while they were combing the shores, a hungry pot of dolphins or porpoises put on a show as they hunted for squid.
20 yards. Wow. We've been calling winds, been howling all night. Calling, calling, calling. And there it is, stabbing 20 yards away. <laughs> I think we all little beat ourselves. <laughs> Welcome to Newfoundland. country man. All right, we made it up top here. And as you can see, this is beautiful moose country. Heavy, thick fur bottoms, high open hills. And during these rut times, they get these cows up in these pockets and then out on the top. So they've had a lot of success here over the years. And I can see why it's absolutely stunning. Wind is not wonderful. It's blowing down this way, but we're trying to call this piece here. So I'm just going to be glassing and having the call go in here and see what happens. But beautiful morning, a little overcast, but nice morning. We move sunny here in Newfoundland. From across the entire valley, Keith watched the pair of moose move to the next bog, where incredibly, the bull appeared to be leaving the cow in response to the call. After he pokes it on that pair, don't move. Okay, it's getting exciting. That moose has moved close to three quarters of a mile, and he's got about 100, 200 yards of timber, and he's out on another bog, which we have. I'm already stunned he's come this far on this windy morning and this late in the year, but there's a chance we might get a look at this thing up close, but we'll see. That is a huge, huge bull. Still close to a mile away, the giant bull had reached a hill that Larry called the point of no return, as every bull that he's ever called past that hill has come all the way in for a shot. Here. 
Oh, there he is. Oh, look at the size of this bull. Look at this bull, what a beauty. I got no shot right there. He's looking for this cow. I need him to come more left. He's gonna get down one of us. Oh, he stopped again. He's gonna go behind these rocks. As soon as he gets in that clearing, I gotta take him. We got him. We got him. He hunched straight up, hewn in that thick stuff. I can't see him, we got him. We got that huge bull. I don't know how far, I really don't know, but if that's not a mile and a half to two miles, I would be shocked that bull came from forever across that mountain across here, and every step of the way come in. I don't know if my heart can take any more of this. That was unbelievable. What a hunt, what a hunt. I think they seen him go down. Let's go see him. I think we got him. I think so. Did you yeah. see him go down? I seen him go down, you yes. Did. Seen him go down. Oh, boys. I see a moose. What? I see a big moose. Awesome. <laughs> right here. Look at the size of that bull, guys. Oh, <laughs> he's down. Look at him. What an absolute giant, boys. Look at that. What a nice one. Oh my goodness. Boys, thank you so much. That was truly a moose hunt in all aspects of it, from you spotting it to the call to him working bog after bog after bog. <sighs> I know you're used to this, oh, yeah. and you're used yeah. to this. Yeah. But you're not. I'm not used to calling them in from other time zones. I mean, that's that's truly miraculous. And a big old running bull that come out with cows and he left them. She, she was actually leading the pack for a little bit. And then she for was. a little while, yeah. yeah. And then finally he said, enough of that, I'm going the final mile on my own. And it was a mile that he did go. He did, he did. Anyways, this, this is an unbelievable moment for me. I love your province. I love the people. Thank you for having me. This is an incredible moose. It's gonna feed multiple families. And on behalf of my family and I, thank you for sharing this incredible moment with me. It truly Highly means the welcome. world to me. And I'm very, very appreciative of this moment welcome, and, and the wonderful people and the wonderful moose here in Newfoundland. Thank you. What an adventure we've had here this week in Newfoundland. We've seen, I think, just about everything we could see from the top of the hills to the bottom of the valleys, even out into the sea. And we've enjoyed every minute of it. This has been an outdoor adventure that was capped off by an amazing moose hunt. And that's what this is all about. It's about getting outside, seeing places you've never been to before and exploring the great outdoors. And the people here in Newfoundland at Taylor's Brook sure offered us that, Graydon and his crew. We're some of the best we've ever hunted with and experienced and enjoyed. And if you haven't had the chance to come get outside and be part of this Newfoundland experience, you truly have to do it. And if you've already been here before, come again. I'm your host, Keith Beasley from Canada and the Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily original content from our adventures across Canada.